How's it going guys? Welcome to another video of Fiddlesim Gaming. In this video, as the title says, we'll be fixing the star field error of minimal specs for all of the systems out there. If you are one of them facing this error, this video is for you. So stick to the end, watch the video, follow the instructions and you will be able to play star field on your PC or laptop. Obviously this is a quite a demanding game, but scrolling down on the Steam Store page, you will be able to see the system requirements of this game. You can see that it supports it supports Windows 10 version 21H1, that is 10.0.19043, or the recommended that is Windows 10 or 11 with the latest updates installed. With AMD Ryzen 5 uh, 2600X, which is not too uh, big, and 16GB of RAM. So yeah, it's not that much of a big uh, game to run for all the systems out there, but still you have to do some tweaks to be able to run on your PC. So we'll get to that. First of all, you're gonna have to make sure what what Windows version you are currently running at your PC. That the video version is being required from, as I told you, it is 21H1. And if you want to know what Windows version you are running currently right now, you have to uh, go to your desktop or press Windows key on your keyboard, left side or right side, and then press the short key windows r it will open up a run command type in win word in the run command and press ok this will bring us a window that will be telling us what currently version of the windows we are using so that will clear up things for you if you are using a previous one you have to update your windows to the latest one and if you are using windows 10 you can upgrade to windows 11 to make sure it will run the star field on your pc currently i'm running windows 22h2 which is above the requirement of the Starfield game, so that will be fine for me. And if you are wondering how to update your system, if I, I don't think so, you don't know, but still if you do not know about that, you have to go to your start and type in Windows Updates, go to Windows Updates and click on Check for Updates and it will start downloading your updates. Now once you have cleared that you meet the minimum requirements of the game and are still facing that error, now what's next we are gonna do? You might be running a laptop and having this error or a computer with dedicated and integrated graphic cards so you don't know how to switch between both. Probably you are running on a certain power configuration where you are using the battery other than the uh, power cable that can bring us more power. Could be the reason of a uh, slow graphic card or the chip not giving us more performance than uh, that the game requires from our PC. There's a very simple solution to this I'll be telling you in the video. If you are on laptop press start key and type in graphic settings you'll be able to see the windows like this that says system display and graphics and there you have to choose desktop app in the drop down menu if you are using the game pass you have to open up the microsoft store app and select game pass in that more than likely it's on steam so you'll be getting it on steam and we'll be playing there you have to click on the select an app desktop app and go to your game location where starfield is installed if you don't know where your game is installed, you can go to Steam and right click on Start Field and choose to Manage and then go to Browse, browse Local Files. This will take us to the Steam folder where you can copy the path on the very top. And once you are in the Start Field folder, select the Start Field .exe file and click Add. Now it is selected in the list of the graphic settings. Now click on Options and make sure you're selecting High Performance. And this will give us the maximum performance needed for the game to be run on the maximum uh, settings for our PC or laptop. Now we should be able to play the game with as, as, as it should with correct graphic card settings. But if you're still having issues, it's a good idea to update your graphic card drivers. Sometimes we, we miss those things. If you have to uh, upgrade your drivers, you have to download a GeForce software which is from Nvidia if you're using Nvidia. Open up the GeForce driver software and click on check for drivers updates. And if you want to download drivers from the direct on their website, you can go to like the NVIDIA, select the GeForce version you are currently using, the driver version on the, uh, the, the, the hardware version of your graphic card, select its name, its type, and click on search. It will give us the option to download our drivers. After clicking on search, you will be able to see the drivers are ready to be downloaded. You can click on download. And once the driver download is done, you can open it up and start installing it. This will update our drivers to the latest versions. But once when you are trying to install it, you have to install a clean software drivers. That that is a, a recommended step for you. Once installing, go to custom and then click on perform a clean installation. 
And after the installation of the drivers, you'll be able to play this sharp field game with great graphic settings and great performance. This should help you out. And so if you are one of those and having these problems, this video will help you. And once it does, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to support the creator. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy gaming.